This one took me one night, uh, one night, of, I came out here one night and it took about five hours and came out here uh, and worked, uh, I came out here and projected him for five hours, came the following day, did some touch-ups, projected the two for another five hours, so now they're both ready to go for, for me to do the final stage. Uh, so when I come out here, I'm going to come out here in daytime again and uh, do their final touch-ups on both, wait for them to get dark and throw the Mac Gray on there. So it's not a finished product yet? It's not a finished product because I keep adding. <laughs> so I keep adding, adding, and adding. I still have the Mac Dre. I'm going to do a quote. And I'm thinking about doing this, uh, uh, some, some clouds in the background. <laughs> the reason why I put the green on this is because I'm exercising with different colors. I like to throw random colors where they don't go. Just because it's art and it has the freedom to, you know, to incorporate different colors. So pretty much uh, I always try to throw it off to where I don't have an actual color scheme. I just grab colors that I'm sure that will dance together and you know and just put them where put them in different areas to where I feel like they'll they'll pop. Tupac man, I've been a fan of Tupac since I was a kid. I've listened to his music for quite some time and I still always do. He's actually one of my favorites to listen to when I paint. Him and Gangstar, but Gangstar's out from New York. But yeah, Tupac man, I've, I, I still listen to his music like he's still around.